Well, hello again. It's been a couple days. We've had mostly cloudy skies and rain and stuff, so. But here we are on the 23rd of July, 2018. It's now 8.53 p.m. and we have a bright white moon up there. So I'm gonna switch over to the Nikon. I have both cameras running, just so we know. And this is an 88% moon in the uh, south, southeast. Okay, there, I think we have it in the best focus we can get. So we zeroed in on our mesa and beam crater, the question mark over to the lower right. <laughs> and we even see clouds going over it. Looks like somebody has a campfire lit up there, huh? <laughs> All that smoke going across the screen. Yeah, the way things are going, even though the uh, sun probably hasn't set yet, I wanted to get this because <laughs> it's been tough viewing over here. Now, of course, I can't see anything else up here right now. But if the sky allows, we'll be able to see Saturn over to the uh, left of the moon and Jupiter off to the right. I'm not going to hold my breath for it. <laughs> now it's tomorrow night on Tuesday, the 24th, when uh, the moon and Saturn are going to be real close together. Now for me, Mars doesn't rise until about 9.30 p.m. tonight. And then who knows, maybe about an hour later before it uh, <laughs> ever gets above the trees. Well, those clouds are making for a spooky moon, aren't they? In a sense. We've got some real good spooky ones before. <laughs> but yeah, it's bright white to the eye. So there's not much more we can see here. Not in the sky. But since I'm here, I'll try with the uh, Canon 80D in the Tamron 18-400mm lens. I did take the 2x teleconverter off tonight though. So that's uh, the 400mm. And I can go into digital zoom. And that's the 3x there. And the 6x. can still see those clouds going over. My goodness. And just because we can, we went up to 10 <laughs> for our grainy, blurry picture. But it's still cool. You can use a digital zoom on um, some of the Canon cameras and video. I don't believe you can in their higher end cameras, but. So we can still see the moon scooting along and still rising a bit. But it's pretty low in the sky. I'd guess about uh, 25, 28 degrees above the horizon. Well, look who popped up there. <laughs> There's Jupiter. Okay, so we wasted all that time. It's 9.26 p.m. now. <laughs> and the moon is in the southeast. Jupiter's over to the right. In the south, southwest. And I do see Venus over there in the west. 
All right, that's a cool look with the moon and the uh, willow tree and the clouds and stuff. Uh-oh, my battery's running low, damn it. <laughs> well, down in the lower left, it should be the stars of Libra. And then Jupiter. Okay, I can see three of its moons. I didn't check the app to see where the fourth one was, so... I don't know their lineup tonight. But we can see them going down. And again, since we don't have the 2X teleconverter on, that's as big as we can get it in. Oh well. And since we're here, we'll just take a real quick look at Venus. So there's our half moon planet. And that should do that. I'm gonna try for Saturn, but with the uh, moon and the willow tree, and I think we're gonna have issues there. <laughs> Or, okay. No oh, hail. Clouds. Yes, our ISS hunt was a bust. <laughs> and our hunt for Saturn is going to be a tough one. Should be to the left of that moon. So it's either behind the trees or clouds. I'm not sure which. And that was a lightning bug. There's something shining above the moon. I don't know who it is. I wonder if that's it. No, it doesn't look to be Antares. It's too blue. So another one we have to look on the app for to see who you are. Got a purple tinge to it, doesn't it? So those faint, faraway stars are coming through. Why isn't Saturn? Because I bet you, bet you any money down there in the trees, that's it. <laughs> that's why. The tilt sure does look like it. Well, doggone, for being in the tree branches, that's coming out pretty good. And I can't see it by eye. It's amazing what these cameras can pick up. Okay, if I crouch down to get at the same angle as the lens, I can barely see it. And it is right in the branches. That's amazing. 9.37 p.m. Try to lighten things up so you can see where I was. Yeah, I know. It looks like hell. What is that? Oh, is that a cloud? So if you can see down there in the tree branches is Saturn. That is cool. Ah, cool shot. Jupiter on one side and the moon on the other. And too bad I can't get the flicker of Saturn in there. Could get all three of them in one shot. 
I'm quite disappointed in my footage tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept that 2X converter on, but no, I wanted to track the damn space station. It didn't come up where it said it would. Well, there's a spooky looking man surrounded by those clouds. <laughs> there's a big halo ring around it, so. And just so we know, that's a reflection. It's not a planet. It's not another moon. It's an artifact from the camera. <laughs> With the exposure so high, it just uh, created a second moon. Why well, the moon's still bright white? And of course, it's overexposed on the on the video, but that's because I wanted to get the clouds in there. All right, that's gonna have to do it then. We're giving up on Mars. <laughs> We've just got way too much footage to go through, so anyway, it's 9.46 p.m. now on this Monday night. So I hope you all had a great weekend and have a wonderful week ahead. Alrighty, y'all take care now. Bye.